Again, I would like to reintroduce our panelists so you can ask questions. We have Gabriel Puente, Quality Control, Safety, Environmental Manager at American Airlines. In summary, Gabriel believes that while going green is a positive effort, he doesn't necessarily think that businesses should be required to spend their money for that specific cause. We have Chen Chen Wang. She is Environmental Protection Specialist for EPA. Chin Chin spoke today on how the government encourages every business to make an effort to protect the environment. And last, we have Caleb Calderon, Chief Executive Officer at GE Energy Management. Caleb today talked about how society as a whole is affected by businesses' decisions that being environmentally friendly or environmentally responsible helps to give back to society and that businesses actually could end up making more money by making this movement. The floor is now open for questions. Yes. Um, I have a question for Caleb. Uh, do you mind going into more detail about the eco imagination and like what products uh, you guys developed with that program? Sure. Um, I stated earlier, it's a program we developed in 2005 to help our company and the world become greener. We developed a website where General Electric wants to talk with people about how to take and on the environmental challenges the world is facing. They want to know what their perspective is and encourage them to share their thoughts with experts in the green industry. Eco-imagination efforts are aimed to benefit the environment while also helping our company grow as well. Yearly, we do about five things to help develop this project. First, we develop investments in clean research and, and development. And second, we increase revenues from the eco-imagination products. Three, reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and improve the energy efficiency of our operations. Fourth, we reduce water use and re improve the water reusage. And fifth, lastly, we keep the public informed on our website, which we set up for them, and basically about our companies, how it's doing as well. Great. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Yes. So I have a, a question to ask Chin Chin. <clears throat> okay. You were talking about uh, solar energy and the potential of uh, saving costs. At what point, how many years out, does that become cost effective? Um, I think uh, it depends on the situations from the different company. Like if you're a really big, large company, you change their old system, maybe just a little part of your budget, so it may cost maybe two or three years. You can just get the money back and even reduce the money. But if like you're a little small company or a small business, you need to spend a large money to change the system. Maybe it take a long time. So just like government, nobody will force some company to go green. If you have the ability ability to go green, so we encourage you. Yes, I have a question. Um, who is specifically working with EPA? If you'd like to ask. Okay. Chin I think that you would be able to answer this question yeah. again. Uh, EPA partnership programs address a wide variety of environment issues by working with different organizations, communities, companies, and in, even individuals. Um, there are more than 30,000 firms are working with us and organizations are participating in the EPA partnership program. It's like the United Airlines, we work together in the same program since 2009. Yes. I have a question I'd like to direct to Mr. Puente. Uh, can you please tell me a little bit more about your partnership with the EPA? Sure. Uh, like I said earlier, it was a going green effort. It was a partnership between uh, the EPA and our company, American Airlines. It began in 2009. Uh, it's called the Climate Control Program. And what it is, it's just a major step for our company. And what we do is make efforts to reduce the amount of emissions, greenhouse gas emissions, by 30%. And the set goal is that you buy the year 2050. So it's just a, a goal that we have and we're currently working towards. Did you say 2050? 50, yes. 
Thank you for your question. Are there any others? Okay, well, the panel is now complete. If you'd like to stick around, I know that a few of the panelists are staying afterwards if you would like to further discuss any of the issues that we talked about today. I hope that we've given you a few different views to take into consideration today. And thank you again for coming. Thank you to our panelists for coming. Thank you.